Hello, so today we're going to be looking at sketching your cameras in 3D. I'm going to be working on Procreate so I can try and learn a few more of the features and I'll talk you through what I'm doing as we go. So on your A3 sheet, I'm going to start in the top left. I'm just going to sketch out a front view and a top view of my camera. Just give me a rough idea where I want to place the different components, the different parts. So when I transfer into a 3D drawing, I've got that information there in front of me. So I've drawn the square. I'm drawing on the features. You'll notice a few times I've carried lines down and across just to help me line things up. The flash is going on and then I'll just put on the end of the lens. Now once that's done, the next stage will be to go around it with our pen just to ink it in. So we go around the outside of it thicker than the inside and we're just going to create that image there so we can see what we're working with. Now next up, we're then going to go on to drawing this in 3D. Now before we start the next bit, I'm working freehand, but you might want to use your eyes to sketch. Other drawing tools are available just to help you when you come to sketching 3D. Now I'm gonna use a blue pencil to do this next bit, just to highlight to you guys, if I make a mistake, you're gonna be able to see it a bit clearer and it's still there, so I've got to learn to hide my mistakes. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a rectangular cube. Once I've done that, I'll draw a square on the front face to proportion where I want my lens. So I'm just drawing that out now, and it's at this point I realize that my square is actually bigger than the cube I've drawn. So I've just extended the cube down a bit there so we can see that. So I'm just marking on the center, the midpoints of that square, and that's gonna help me draw my circle in like that. And then I'm gonna extend that square forward and draw the front part of the cube so that I've got a reference for my next circle. So I draw them out to make that cube and I mark on the lines exactly the same. So the lines are just going on now, I'll draw another circle and then connect the two circles up to make the first part of my lens. I'll then repeat that stage again, drawing a slightly smaller circle, building out the cube, the box in front of it to draw on the next part of the lens. So I end up with two circles there. So my marks have gone on, the circle's gone on and then I'm just adding the lines. Now it was this point I noticed my first circle wasn't quite right so I just redrew a new one. I'm now moving on to adding the flash on the top. Putting in a few diagonal lines just building that up. I'm going to add a viewfinder onto the back of it as I just thought it was a helpful addition to add at this point. Now a lot of what I'm doing in this design is actually things we've learned in other lessons where we're building onto shapes so I'm creating out a shape first. So I've built this part now in squares and then adding my curve lines to show how it's going to be more fluid, more comfortable, to create that more natural feeling to the camera there. So I've just sketched on them curved lines. I'm just going to continue now sketching with my blue pencil, adding my fine detail. So I'm just very quickly, in 10 seconds, going to recap that whole process for you on the screen now ready for the inking in. So inking in is going to be something we've already covered. So we're just going to start with our fine line or a biro, going over the lines we want to keep. So this helps to bring the page out. So I'm just drawing over all the lines I want to keep so the idea comes away from the page. So the blue lines will now start to fade into the background. So we're just going to build that out very quickly. So as I just finished that off, I'm just going to outline it with a thicker black pen just to make it stand off the page more. So as I've just finished that off, I'm just going to use my fine liner again and just put some shade, some cross hatching marks just in areas where I need it to be a little bit darker. So around the bottom of the lens on both sides, trying to keep them in line with each other. The top surface of the lens would do exactly the same, but not quite as large the area we're going to cover in this, a bit underneath it there as well. Now I'm just testing out my markers on the page there, but you of course can do this on a scrap. And you'll notice just in the top left hand corner, I'm just looking at some colour combinations of what to put on my page. So I'm working on that 2D view first, just so I can get an idea of what it is I want to do. So these are just block colors. I'm not worried about shade or anything. I'm just getting some ideas at this stage. Now, as we've already looked at, I'm now gonna start adding my marker colors, building up the layers of color to get that shade, tone, and texture that I need. So I'm working on the left-hand side there, just adding on some shade to it using my marker pen. And I'll carry on working over and covering things like the lenses, giving them the idea of them being around blurring or blending I should say the tones together so it's just building up them different colors I'm starting on the lens there getting it darker underneath where it's going to be in shadow and then we start moving on adding our colors blending them in 
so we get the idea that it's a curved surface and we're adding that level of detail to it. Once I've finished with the lens, we're then going to think about the viewfinder, the flash and building up colour on them. So again, we're just going to use the markers, using the greys again at this time, adding detail. So I'm going to add my detail now with the markers. So I'll speed up this part of the video so you can just see how it turns out. So I'm just going to build on some yellow marker pens and blue, give them the idea of the lens. I'll do some different colours for the buttons, just building it up. Now just before I finish the sketch, I'm going to add some more detail in it, so I've put in my background view there. I'm going to add my arrows, just show them how the sketch is progressing. On to our next stage where we're going to think about how we could make this in the manufacturing. So just below the camera, I'm going to sketch out a couple of blocks. These are going to represent my blue foam, so I'm going to put all my detail onto them. And I'm going to sketch on things like the lens, where I want them to be played, apply the colour, Remember my thick and thin line technique is going to go apply to this as well, so I'm just putting that on there now. There's my thin lines, followed by some colour there to block it out, just a bit of shading with the colour. We then look at using a white pencil to sketch on the different parts and finish off with the thick lines just to bring that on. Again, use some arrows, some labelling going on there, tidying up the page ready that if we need to annotate it, it's all done and we've got our 3D idea set out showing some development along the way as well. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Finally, don't forget to check us out on social media. Until next time, bye for now.